Tell us about your experience of getting lipstick under my burqa from strip to screen. It's a very, very long story, but I have to say that um, it was not a short journey. It was a long journey. I had the idea, like, I think while I was filming, turning 30, I got the idea for a lipstick. Then I wrote a draft, which then I submitted. But I wrote the draft later, like in, I think, 2011 or something. Then 2012, I submitted it for uh, the screenwriter's lab and ended up doing that lab and then i think 2013 i took it to the co-production market but i already had a domestic producer like an indian producer so then i ended up um filming it in 2014 and then 2015 after i had finished the edit and all of that i actually took it to the work in progress lab which benefited me a lot actually because um, I really use the inputs of the lab. I change the edit of the film uh, in a very dramatic way, actually. So me and my editor, we re I, that was also a very, very lovely experience. So uh, we changed the edit at the work in progress lab. And even my producer came to the lab for a thing. And one morning, like we told him, we like my editor and I, we were chatting and then we like, we just decided we want to just change the edit. So he was cool. He's like, if you guys think it's, you know, it's what you want to do. Um, so anyway, I changed the edit. Then 2016, it had its festival premiere at uh, Tokyo and Mami at the same day. Then it went on to do almost 100 film festivals and screenings around the world, winning many, many awards. And then, of course, I had a really uh, uphill task in trying to release the film. Uh, but I think it was, and so it released then finally in 2017. But, you know, fortunately, it did really well. Uh, you know, I, I managed to get like, a really good distributor for the film which is uh, uh, Balaji and Ekta really uh, championed the film and it uh, you know it, it it had a so it did really well in the theaters and you know commercially so in that sense it was a long journey but it was very and then it did very well on Amazon it was sold to Amazon for for, for its digital thing so I think uh, it's been a, it was a very beautiful uh, journey and a long uh, journey but I think that the only thing I can say is that I think um, some films just take longer and I think for, for young filmmakers it's important to to hold on to that baby and you know you don't never know like even all the films that are doing so well right now so many of them have taken so long in the incubation sort of period so I think different films have different uh, you know journeys and their ups and downs and some films you don't know they'll break out some films you put in everything it doesn't you know pan out the way you want it to but I think what you learn, I think, by participating in, uh, you know, labs and like attending uh, the NFDC uh, film bazaar and things is that I think you can really learn from other people's experiences and uh, see what best you can do. It's also very helpful, I feel, if you want to take your film on a festival journey, because I feel a lot of festival um, programmers, you know, quite a few of them uh, do attend film bazaar. So it's a really great place to get your, to talk about your film and get it noticed and to get a sales agent on board and things like that. So yeah, I had a very, it's a very, I mean, I've really said like just some basic points, but it was a very long journey and quite complicated. Uh, but I think the most beautiful thing is that I feel the film gave a lot of people joy and uh, I feel like it touched a lot of people's hearts and uh, I'm very, you know, happy that uh, uh, I made the film and I'm glad I, and now in retrospect, of course, I feel like I'm glad it took as long as it, you know, sort of did.